Despite the vast array of 3D platformers on the PlayStation 2, Psychonauts still remains one of the most distinct examples of its genre. The first game from the Tim Schafer-led Double Fine, fresh from their departure from LucasArts, this psychic adventure is a boiling pot of creativity, eccentric moments and refined gameplay. Hampered only by occasional technical hitches, these don't spoil what is one of the most engrossing platformers on the system making it a must for enthusiasts of the genre. Rasputin Aquato, a part of a family circus, runs away in order to fulfil his dream of joining the Psychonauts, a group of secret agents who utilise psychic prowess to battle enemy forces. He is quickly caught and only allowed to stay until his parents collect him. But as Raz begins to show his abilities, the camp trainers realise they may have a candidate on their hands. What follows is a trippy, unpredictable narrative that benefits from a slew of memorable side characters, ranging from the analytical and complex Sasha 9 to the myriad of distinct campers who serve as NPCs around the map. Raz is a likeable lad too making you invest in his journey towards becoming a psychonaut, and intrigued once elements of his life begin to unravel and reveal themselves. There's a great number of funny moments too, with a barrage of jokes which often hit the mark. The rest of you will die! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Maury. Children, you are not going to die. Well... If you're not a psycho not, then you might as well be dead! Taking place at the Whispering Rock, Psychonauts starts off as a basic platformer, allowing you to jump and climb around the environment. But things quickly turn upside down, as you enter basic training inside the mind of Coach Oleander. There's a clear divide between the real and mental worlds, with the latter taking on a more abstract and surreal style. But the platforming keeps up with this insanity, as excellent controls and camera mechanics make exploring a breeze. Raz also gains a slew of psychic powers, allowing him to grab objects, turn invisible and set targets alight. Not only do these add great variety to the game, but they incentivize backtracking through both the hub, camp and levels. Other objects also reveal more of the game's secrets, including a cobweb hoover that rewards currency to level up Raz's psychic level, and sometimes open paths to secrets. These, along with apparitions and mental baggage scattered around each level, add replay value, boosting the game close to 20 hours long. Real praise must go to the design and look of each mental world. As you explore the mind of several key characters, each encompass that person. Sash's level is clean and organised, meticulous like his personality. Only, with Raz unleashing the chaos of senses into his brain, do we see the cracks in his psyche. Two other levels stand out. As you explore the mind of a mutated lungfish, it proves a joyous trek that mimics a Godzilla film seeing Raz smash his way through a very destructible town while battling another kaiju-sized boss. The other is Milkman Conspiracy, a twisting and surreal take on 1950s suburbia that is comedy gold, with poorly trained special agents trying to blend in and forcing you to seek out items in order to avoid questioning. The way the path circles into itself, mixed with the sore thumb special agents, makes it a treat. Okay. I'm gonna close my eyes, right? And then I'm gonna start to count to a hundred, okay? And then you guys hide. Everybody got it? It's hide and seek, Vernon, not hide and calculus. We've all got it. The main hub of Psychonauts Madness is Whispering Rock, and this is another of Double Fine's great accomplishments. A slew of NPCs move around the camp, who Raz can interact with and hear a dialogue snippet. 
but unlike some games of the time, character interaction changes as you progress, with lines changing depending on when you speak to the characters. The roster of NPCs around the map are also 100% unique, each with their own personalities and quirks. From characters dating each other, to others whom exist in isolation and bore weird traits, the economy of people and interactive elements prove hugely compelling. It's quite forward thinking when you consider, games which would follow a suit a generation later would utilise repeated dialogue and character models. That being said, Psychonauts is not flawless. Due to the sheer amount of abilities you gain, the earlier stages can feel like an onslaught of tutorials, and this somewhat waters down the worlds at the start. One particular mind forces constant exiting and returning, as you gain more powers to open up the level. The game can also force a bit of tedious searching in the main camp, as the main currency is arrowheads, which lets you purchase upgrades and certain key items. A couple, in particular, come with a hefty price tag, and finding the necessary arrowheads can prove a little dull, distracting from the excellent levels. But these aren't enough to spoil the experience. Hey, good job, soldier! Now here's your reward! Psychonauts has a distinctive art style that proves memorable. Characters bear a similar, angular style to a Tim Burton film, with superb animation and fluidity during cutscenes. Environments all look excellent, with each world proving fantastically distinctive, while even the hub is well done and looks the part. The only downer is the technical performance leaves a bit to be desired, with some severe drops in more crowded sequences. The sound is also super, with excellent voice acting, a witty script which keeps the laughs coming, and some memorable music which adds a distinct flavour to the myriad of locations you visit. From the xylophone-led theme to Milkman Conspiracy, creating intrigue and unease, to the intense cacophony of the meat circus, there's bound to be a track which sticks with you. In fact, Psychonauts is a game that you will not soon forget. One of the most distinctive and engrossing platformers to come out on the PlayStation 2, this joyous time is only marred by some design quirks and technical hiccups. But these cannot spoil the myriad of insane levels, the captivating art style and its general platforming prowess. If you have any interest in the genre or are looking for something truly oddball, Double Fine's debut adventure is simply a must. <laughs> <laughs>